All right. So, so this roof piece, I'm trying to replicate from here back. Um, I needed a die or something for this little groove here where the drip rail sits in. And, you know, I was going to make something for the Pullmax, which I still think I will someday, but it's like, you know what? Let me bring down the trusty Harbor Freight bead roller and uh we'll see if we can't get something and one of the step dies the width of half of it is pretty much essentially the width of the inside so i did one line on one side and then just followed the line i did already on the outside so it made a perfect channel about the same size well, pretty much the same size as here, as you can see that. So this will continue kind of something like that. So that's taken care of. That's awesome. I thought that was going to be a pain. I thought I had to make it die and take a few hours. Nope. I already got it. So I think I'm going to start shaping this here. It's a little more complicated than it looks. It's not just a hump down, uh, hump down. It's not just a curve down with that detail in it. It's, uh, it has a radius this way. So it's gonna take some shrinking on this edge and maybe some stretching along here to kind of give it the curve it needs. I'm not gonna replicate the whole thing, just this back. But still, that little piece has some curve to it. And yeah, let's uh, start cutting stuff out and start making it. So I got a little test piece. Hopefully it'll turn out to be the final piece. I'm trying to make the window surround with some detail in it. Um, most of this is not correct. It's just this little end chunk here is the original. So I'm gonna try to use that side profile and get something close to that. Um, Got this piece here. I'm gonna start out trying to get this a little detail here. Um, probably would be a smart idea to just make a pull max die and stamp that in, but I wanna try without it for now. See if I can just do it in the bead roller because it'd be so much quicker. Uh, if I can't do it, obviously, you know, I'll have to figure something else out, but I'm gonna go for it.
All right, so I had to make two of these. Uh, the first one didn't really come out so good. It was fine, I just bent it in the wrong places back here. So now this one is bent correctly, and that is really hard to do without like a crazy magnetic break or something. I had to, I had to work pretty hard to get that, but and it's also a taper. So the bottom area right there is smaller than this side's bottom. So fit right in here. Of course, it's hard to do because it's the same size and it won't fit in there, but you know, you get the gist there and there. I got to replace that, make that nice and happy because I want a nice solid base to work uh, this top roof area. So I'm going to get this nice and nice, 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 and we'll go from there. So let's cut this to fit and start tacking this in. Okay, so I cut a square out. Actually, this is one just laying around, but it will fit pretty good uh, on here. So let me just get the shape correct, what I need, and then see if I need to shrink the edges and make it kind of conform to what exactly I need. So let's bend it first, and then we'll start giving it a little bit of shape. All right, so as you can see here, I already shaped that piece. Um, I must have had dead batteries or something. I don't remember what happened. I uh, needed to keep working. I couldn't wait for the batteries to charge to uh, keep on working. So here I am welding it to the piece that I made earlier. Um, just getting all the, the tacks on there, planching them out. Um, I start on one end and work to the other, and that'll keep the panel nice and tight and I can actually adjust that with uh, planishing the tacks after I weld it. Um, I can open up the gap or keep it closed as the tack shrinks and there I just used the English wheel as kind of like a planishing hammer to smooth out those tacks and here I am finishing it up.
like a dummy I went to get lunch and left my camera recording so the battery died but I got this piece shaped up to match uh, I got it welded semi metal finished and I took a strip and matched the contour of this uh, impression where the drip rail goes on the other side so that way and I flipped it around here and I had a mark on it whoops I had a mark on here earlier but uh kind of wiped away while I was uh welding and stuff so that's where that goes so I'm going to transfer the bottom mark uh, back on it and a nice bright sharpie mark and then I'm going to go to the bead roller and start rolling them beads all right so this mark here there's a meat in the bottom of this yeah there we go right there Well, that line's all crooked. Hopefully I can follow that straight enough. Alrighty, so... I can't mess this up because if I do, I'll be really upset with myself. So... Yeah. Let's try not to mess it up. Okay, this looks good. But now I need to do the opposite. I'm gonna move these around now. Alright, so now I'm going to run the bead roller again, pretty much over the same spot, and have the dies ride against the, uh, the line that I just made, and it'll make a section, an indented section, just like what's on the body, <laughs> just as wide as the die itself, so, or as half the die. Right? Yeah, that should work. I'm afraid it's gonna give me a crease on the side though, but you know, I don't think there's anything I can do about that.
it's all right. It's a little wibbly, but I ain't perfect. All right, so this piece is on now. This little uh, bead detail is on there. I do have a little whoopsie up here. The whole thing kind of goes up a little here and then back down, um, but lines up with the original pretty good. I'm gonna leave that. Um, hopefully the drip rail will kind of hide that. I'm hoping it will because I'm not remaking this whole piece. Sorry, but you know. Um, so I trimmed the bottom here so this is this is ready to weld all through here. I gotta trim this somewhere. I don't know where exactly I'm gonna do that, but I need to do that. I need to also trim the side of this. And debating if I'm gonna make this little bead that I need to trim down the bottom and the side. I didn't really trim anything else other than just this. And I left this long here. I might add a strip. Yeah, I should probably add a strip before I do anything. I'll add a strip here to meet up with the ends of the back so that's all solid and they can figure that out. And I might wheel this some more. I think this is a little low here so I want to raise this up check with my handy dandy ruler. I think I see the light. Yeah. It's flat there and it doesn't need to, it has to be a curve there. So it's flat. The rest of it's kind of curvy and then it gets flat. Yeah. Okay. I need to do some wheeling anyway right here. Smooth that out. I want to take care of a couple other areas before I start welding, but you know, the shit takes a while and it's slow. So I guess I'll just keep going.
Okay, so you just saw me make this little uh, extension of this bead detail here. So that's going to go there, but it's not quite the right shape. See how it's just like a, a step, essentially? What I'm going to do, because I don't have the right die, and I really don't feel like making a Pomax die for this just yet, um, I'm going to take my highest crown die which is a 0.75 radius so it's three quarters of an inch of a radius and I'm just gonna take my time and slowly work it on here until I get a rounded profile to this uh, to this bead here because that's, it's pretty much what it is. It's a, you can tell down here, it's a round bead. There's no flat spot on it. So I'm gonna, maybe down here is a little bit of flat, but nothing, nothing up here. Oh, this is aft, so you can't go by this. But the other side, you can see it's just a, just a round bead, so let me try and replicate that. I was gonna make the whole thing, like even it down here, but then I'm like, I don't know. I really don't need to go that crazy. So I'm just gonna cut it like here and kind of try and get rid of some of this. And this will get taken care of with this rear section that I made. So the only thing left to this corner mess is gonna be a little bit down here and this crack here which is okay with me and a little, a little bit on the corner, but he didn't do a terrible job lining that up. So that's okay. So you saw me making this bead. See, it actually came out nice. Uh, I didn't know if that was gonna work, but it worked out nicely. You see how high I got that? So now this is a nice rounded bead profile that's gonna be going right about here. And that'll, uh, that'll make my life a lot easier. Make me, f not really, it won't make my life easier. It's just gonna make it me feel better about doing this job that this whole mess was replaced because if I didn't adjust and redo this bead, um, it just looked like shit. Like this would be all nice and refinished and then all of a sudden this bead detail would be lost because it is lost. It kind of steps up here and then just fades away because he, I don't know what he did, but he didn't do it right. So. That's gonna look a lot better. Um, I also gotta trim it on the other side too, so. Kinda trim this side to here. Kinda go around. I'll keep an even, even spacing on here, so. That's not an even spacing. There we go. Yeah, to do just fine. So I'll cut this off. <laughs> cut this off. I don't know why I didn't continue the line. Why did I not continue the line? The line has to be continued. There, cut it all off. There we go. Cut this off. Cut that off. Tack it. Put it back on. Make sure it's good. Um, might have to cut this so that the whole panel sits in. Cut this all the way off, but we'll see. Let me get this on here first.
so I'm cutting this out. I gotta weld it in. I'm getting it fit up and I'm not going to trim all of my edges and then try and weld it in. I am going to cut it in, uh, which means I've done this before. I get one section of the body that, the body and the panel that I like the fit and I wanna start off with first and I will cut that flush to fit, get it nice, nice, start welding that and then from then on, it's essentially me cutting with my air saw, tacking it, cutting some more, tacking it, cutting some more, tacking, and doing that all around and constantly checking the fit on everywhere else. Uh, because with doing it like that, you can also weld the panel in crooked. So I don't want to do that. So I want to keep as many Clecos in as I can to get the fit I'm looking for. Uh, and then, you know, whew, stressful. But this is how it's gonna be done. I think it's gonna come out all right, at least better than what it started with. So, let me get something to eat and then I wanna come back here and start doing what I just said.
Okay, so it is tacked in here. It's tacked all the way down here, across, up. I left this spot out because I might just redo that because this is disgusting. Um, I might make a piece to go in here. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet, so I'm leaving this alone. But this is nice and flush. I need to add a few more tacks up in here, but this is nice. It all flows together. I need to trim this one and weld this before, but before I do this, it's still just temporarily held on here by one of these tech screws and this clamp so I can take this off and I need to fill these holes and take the rest of the weld off from some of these spot welds on the, the drip rail. And then I need to figure out what's going on here. Because these are two separate cars. You can see the lip coming up that corresponds with this lip here, this bead. So that's interesting. Um, so yeah, I found out that this quarter was replaced. I don't know if I told you or what. Um, but I did find out that this one was replaced. There was an extra layer in the back there, but now there's only now there's only one layer, but now you can probably see it right there. See that extra layer there? That's not how they do it from factory. They don't overlap it. They butt weld it, so that's this quarter was replaced at some point. Um, I don't know if it was with an older car or what, but Regardless, um, this is in. Next time I work on this, we are going to fully weld everything that's tacked right now to the back. I'll cut this and do up in here. I didn't touch that yet. I'm not sure what's going on inside because the drip, the uh, tack strip was cut off of pretty much everything besides the back. Uh, so I'm kind of leaving it that way. Usually people put inserts in it anyway, so I'm just not sure what is going to happen in its next life, but I'm just making it so it's almost back to stock the way it should be, so. Everything's looking good so far. Guess that's it. That was a real pain to even get this far. I know it's two videos and I literally only tacked the piece in place, but a lot of shaping and creating and like even making this was a pain in the butt and making these two separate panels <sighs> a lot of work here oh i forgot i made this too but i kind of got lost so next we weld it up but that's it for this one guys thank you for liking commenting subscribing clicking the bell sharing all my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you guys on the next one.